Aries, welcome to your reading for this week, starting the 3rd of November. It's a general reading, so take everything that resonates with you and leave anything else behind. I'm using my teacup tarot deck and I will clarify with my Time to Shine oracle cards, both of which are listed in the description box below. So I'm doing a slightly different spread this week, slightly different style of reading. Let me know how you get on with it in the comments below. So starting off in your first row here, we have two aces. So this is all about something new, something fresh starting, an exciting new beginning. And the first ace is the ace of coins. And here we have our lovely angel look moving towards this golden opportunity. So this could be showing up and it's the coin suit, anything to do with work, with finances, with career. So it could be a pay rise, a promotion, it could be a new job, could be a new area of study. The Queen of Coins comes in next. Now the Queens are authority figures in the deck and the Queen of Coins is very much She's very grounded. She's very practical. She's very resourceful. She's very good with finances and is very often very home and family focused, making sure that everybody in her orbit has all their needs met. So if you wanted to talk to anybody in the tarot that would give you a grounded common sense answer, this is the queen of coins. This is the person you would talk to. The next ace you've got is the Ace of Wands. So this is action, this is excitement, this is forward movement. This is the opportunity for a brand new start. And this card says, what are you waiting for? Moving into the middle of the week, we've got the Three of Coins, the Magician and the Hermit. So this Three of Coins is all about you moving forward with this new opportunity as part of a team, not doing it on your own, you working alongside other people and everybody bringing their expertise to the team. And when you all work together, that's where the magic and the success can be found. Now, I've literally just said magic and the next card here is the magician. So this is a major arcana card and you have two in this reading side by side here. And the first one, the magician literally says, you are ready. You have everything you need. You can do it. So just in case you were wondering about these opportunities, the magician comes in and says, yes, you can. You're ready. The hermit card comes in next and says it's time for you to step up into this leadership role. Shine your light in the world. Lead by example and teach from experience. So these are all lovely cards encouraging these new beginnings. The Knight of Coins comes in next. Now, the Knights are fast moving energy. They all have a motorbike. The Knight of Coins is the only one not riding theirs because she's looking at the map, making plans so that when she gets back on that bike, she knows exactly where she's going and how to get there. So the Knight of Coins steps in and said, make your plans, plan A, plan B, and if necessary, plan C. So this is going to be a very mindful and organized new beginning. The Three of Wands says, dream big, look at the long term, and then dream bigger. And now it's time for you to do the groundwork, start those first little action steps to get you moving in this new direction. On the card, the long term goal is the healthy forest, but she won't be able to achieve that if she doesn't plant the little seedlings first. So when you get this new idea, when you're making your plans, make sure you carry them out. Get that to do list ready and tick the little steps off one by one. The nine of one says, stay determined, stay persistent, keep going, don't give up. This is the card of motivation, it's persistence and determination. 
So looking at your overall energy, I will pull some clarifiers in a minute. A lovely week of new opportunities, new beginnings. You being practical, resourceful, sensible and grounded. Knowing that you've got this. Moving forward as part of a team. You need to dream big, then dream bigger and you need to get your plans ready so you can tick those off one by one and then have the motivation to carry out those action steps. So we'll just get three cards from this Time to Shine Oracle deck and look at these two more major arcanas. So the Six of Wisdom is the lover's card in traditional tarot. This is you making choices and decisions, looking at all your options carefully and then deciding what feels right for you. It can be the start of a lovely new partnership, but generally this is the card of you making fair and balanced and well thought out choices. The 19 of Wisdom couldn't be better. This is the star card. This is you enjoying success, happiness and joy and acting on those brilliant new ideas. I was talking about that here. This is the success coming in. This is the success after hard work. This is you reaping the rewards of your hard work. And the seven of action at the end next to this determination card says step up and speak up if you need to. This is the card of being assertive. And it's absolutely fine to be assertive as long as you're kind at the same time. So when you're making these new plans and moving forward, it's absolutely OK to say which things will work for you and which will not. And as long as you're kind while you're doing it and polite, that's absolutely fine. So very much a week of starting something new, getting your plans together making clear decisions. The success is here. The magician says you're ready. You can do it. So stay determined, dream big. And this is the week for you to go after what you would like to do and start to enjoy these wonderful opportunities. So I hope you've enjoyed the reading. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Thank you even more for liking, sharing and subscribing. It's free to do all of those things and it truly does support my channel. So have a lovely week. Look after yourselves and I'll see you here again soon.